notifications provide a way for your app to interact with users even when your app is not running. Once your app schedules notification, the OS makes sure it's delivered to the user at the scheduled future date and time. Let's take a look at how to use notifications. You need to include a T Notification Center component in your application. In order to send a notification immediately while your app's running, you would check with Notification Center to see if notifications are supported. If they are, you would create a new notification and then set the name, alert body, and fire date. The fire date you set to now in order to send it immediately. Then you can either use scheduled notification or present notification. The difference is scheduled notification can be used for future notifications as well, whereas present notification does it immediately. Once that's done, then you dispose of the notification. At this point, the notification has been handed off to the OS and the OS will ensure delivery. To send a scheduled notification, you specify a date in the future, in this case, five seconds from now, and call scheduled notification. One note about the name, the name is a friendly name that you use when referring to it later. So down here, when we want to cancel a specific notification, again, we check to see if notifications are supported by the platform, and then we call cancel notification with that friendly notification name. If you want to cancel all the scheduled notifications that your application has put out, then you use cancel all. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. Here we see the app running on Android under Lollipop. To send a notification immediately, I tap the second button here, and we see the notification appear up in the notification bar. I swipe down, and we see the alert body there. I can dismiss it from here. To send a scheduled notification, I tap Send Scheduled Notification. At this point, I can actually exit the application. Even if the device reboots, the OS will still deliver the notification, like we see here. I can swipe down from the top, tap the notification, and go back into the application immediately. If I send a notification and then later want to cancel it, I can cancel that notification. We see it disappeared from the bar. Cancel bar from the bar. Or I can cancel all notifications. If I had notifications with different names, for example, different events scheduled in the future, cancel all would cancel all those notifications. The behavior is exactly the same in iOS and Android. Another great benefit of notifications is they interact automatically with wearable devices like Pebble, Android Wear, or the new Apple Watch. This has been a brief introduction to using notifications in your mobile app development 